the game for people with time on their hands and hands on their clocks. But let's not waste any more time and get on with the game. Are you ready, teams? On your marks, get set, go! This game, round one, called Sticking to Time. Ten points to the first team to get all the numbers in the right places on the clocks. Sounds easy, doesn't it? But it's much harder when you're blindfolded. So what they've got to do is to try and guide their partner into the right places. In with the two. Oh, I think that's OK. Everybody around about even at the moment, I think. Oranges are going to get that one in. They've got the 11 in. Doing with one number to go. Can they do it? Can they get the nine in? Start the clock! Let's have a look. Come over here, that's it, come Let's take your blindfold off so you can see what you're doing and see what you've done. Oh, have a look at this. Very well done indeed. All the numbers in the right places on the clock. So that means we award the pink team with our 10 points bonus score. Yeah! Time to meet the teams. And in the pink team this week, we have Russell and Linda from Telford in Shropshire. Hello, Russell. Hello. And what sort of things do you like doing in your spare time? Well, I play football and I like athletics. Football and athletics. What position do you play, football? Sweeper. Right, what are your ambitions? What sort of things would you like to do? To be a fighter pilot. Good luck with that. Let's move on to Linda. Linda, what do, what do you like doing with your, with your spare time, Linda? Skiing, swimming. Skiing? Yeah. Do you ski? Do, have you been, like, on the snow or is this just the dry tracks? We've been on snow and ice. And what would you like to do when you leave school? What are your ambitions, and Linda? I'd like to be an Australian lifeguard. Don't pop off just to Australia. That's the pink team, Linda and Russell. Yeah! Moving swiftly on here to the green team. In the green team today are Amy and Joseph from Liverpool. Hello, Joseph. Hello. And um, what sort of things do you like doing? Playing football and playing the flute. You play the flute? Yeah. Have, have you got any medals or any grades or anything? No, I've only just started. Just started. What would you like to do when you leave school? What's your biggest ambition? Play football. Just to play football? Yeah. Good luck with that. We've got some good tactical play today. Amy? And what sort of things do you like doing, Amy? Running. You're a runner. What sort of distances do you run? All different. All different. What, what would you like to do in leave school? What's your biggest ambition? To be a solicitor. Good luck with that. I hope you present your case very well today. That's the green team, Amy and Joseph. Yeah! Moving swiftly on to the orange team today, who are Ian and Jane from Hereford. Hello, Ian. Hello. What do you like doing with your spare time, Ian? Athletics, and I run for Hereford. How long have you been doing that? Like three years. Three years. Good luck with that, then. What are your ambitions, Ian? Uh, to be like Peter Elliott. And what sort of distances does he run? 1,500. Okay, then. Jane, you like swimming? Yeah. And are you, seri are you a serious swimmer? No. Not really. What sort of things do you like doing, then, Jane? Uh, climbing, reading. Climbing? What, what do you climb? Trees. You climb trees? <laughs> You don't fall out. Okay then. What are your ambitions, Jane? What would you like to do when you leave school? I want to be school? a vet. You like to be a vet. So you like you, you like animals. You're an animal lover. Yeah. Good luck with that. That's Jane and Ian in the orange team. Yeah! So here are the three teams that are ready to play clockwise. Yeah! And the winning team today will be taking home some brilliant prizes with them. But to do that, they will have to make the journey through. The Time Tunnel. Yes. Okay, that's enough of that. It's not that scary. What's the Time Tunnel, I hear you ask? Well, a little bit more of that later. But for now, let's play clockwise. Yeah! So straight on to round two called Clocking Up. The object of this round, teams, is to clock up the six lights across the tops of your desks as quickly as you can. Each right answer gets you one light lit and five points on the scoreboard. Good luck, then. Fingers on your buzzers. From what kind of tree do you get acorns? Greens. Oak. The oak's correct. Who perfected the process of freezing food? Was it Clarence Birdseye, I.C. Fridge, or Louis Pasteur? Oranges. Clarence Birdseye. Clarence Birdseye is absolutely correct. Who is this? Have a look at your screens. Greens. Sylvester Stallone. Oh, Sylvester Stallone. Well done, correct. Five points to you. Which English king was known as the Lionheart? Was it Richard I, Richard II or Richard III? Oranges. Richard I. Is absolutely correct. Well done. Which pop group wrote the theme tune for the 815 from Manchester? Oranges. No. no. Oh, in Spiral Carpets. In Spiral Carpets. Well done. Five points. Is St David's Day in March, April or May? March. Oranges. March is correct. The 1st of March. Five points. Have a look at your screens, teams, and tell me who is this? Greens. 
Pollard. Sue Pollard, she wants to be a yellow coat. <laughs> well done. OK, five points to you. Is brontophobia fear of dinosaurs, beef burgers or thunder? Greens. Thunder. Thunder's correct. Well done. What is the name of this film? Pinks. Batman. Batman's correct. Well done. What is the first letter of the Greek alphabet? Oranges. Alpha. Alpha's correct. Well done. Is Neighbours set in Sydney, Melbourne or Adelaide? Oranges. Melbourne. Melbourne's absolutely correct. Have you lit your six lights? Yeah! If you find time flies when you're having fun, then this is the round for you called Time Flies. In front of you, you will see 12 numbers. Each number is one of the answers. Orange is your first to go. Start the clock. In the carol, how many ships came sailing in? Three. Three's correct. How many Gospels are there in the Bible? Worth a guess. Eight. Sixteen. It's four. In Monopoly, how much do you collect for passing go? Two hundred. Two hundred's correct. What number is diametrically opposite two on a clock face? I think. Five. It's the eight. How many players are there all together in a game of netball? Set. Fourteen. Fourteen. Well done. In darts, what was nu what number lies between five and one? Twenty. Twenty is correct. Well done. In medicine, how many millilitres is a standard dose? Five. Five is correct. Well done. If you go to school from nine to four, how many hours a day are you there? Seven. Seven's correct. How many sides? Uh... And just beaten by the buzzer there at the end of that round, you scored six right which puts the orange score up to 90 points. Yeah! Where's your next to go? Start the clock. How many does a stitch in time save? 26. It's nine. In the Roman army, how many men did a centurion command? 100. 100's correct. How many dots make a colon? Nine. It's two. In which position did England finish in the 1990 World Cup? Worth 12. A guess. It was fourth. How many years since Queen Elizabeth II was crowned? Easy. It's 37. If, first, if the 1st of July is a Saturday, how many Sundays are there in that month? Have a think. Worth a guess. Look at your numbers. 26. It's five. How many dozen makes a gross? 80. It's 12. What number is Thursday? And beaten by the buzzer there, at the end of that round, you've got the one right, which puts the green score up to 30 points. Yeah! So, Pink, you're next to go. Start the clock. What number goes with A to signify excellent? Seven. It's A1. How many times a week is the Wogan show on television? One. It's three times, actually. An elephant is pregnant for how many months? 22. Well done. 22 is correct. How many days hath September, April, June and November? 30. 30 is correct. Well done. In 30 minutes, how far would you travel at four miles per hour? Um, 10 miles. It was two. How many legs has it be? Four. It's six. In a soccer penalty shootout, how many kicks are taken by each side before the sudden death element? Five. Five is correct. Well done. How many gold stars are there in the European flag? Um... Six. It's 12. Unlucky. I'm just beaten by the buzzer there again. At the end of that round, you score three right, which puts your score up to 45. Yeah! So, at the end of round three, in third place, with 30 points, the green team, Amy and Joseph, in second place, with 45. Linda and Russell in the pinks, but up there in front, leading with a brilliant, brilliant score of 90 points. Jane and Ian in the orange team. Yeah! This week's physical time teaser will drive you around the bend. Each team have to get from one end to the other and back again without touching the wire. If they do, then this happens. And if that happens, this happens. And at the end of this round, we will suddenly have to say goodbye to the team with the lowest score. Cruel but true. Are you ready, teams? Good luck. On your marks. Get set. A go! Careful stuff here. Pink's doing quite well. So the oranges are just in the lead there. Bit of, bit of guns on the oranges there. And, and the pinks have been guns too. Poor old Jones have just got guns there. Orange is doing very well here. Have you got enough guns on you there, Russell? No. Just to add to it, another little slide. Who chose your partner? Oh, look what he's doing. The oranges, look at the oranges go. 
Oh, man, so the greens are going to have to go back again. The oranges have nearly done it. OK, start! Yes, and the oranges have won! Ian and Jane, you, you got away quite lightly there. Well done to you, which means we award you with our 20 points bonus score. Yeah! Which means we sadly have to say goodbye to the Greens. Amy and Joseph, come out here, Joseph. Looks like you've had a bad cold to me, slipping and sliding all over the place. Come in here, Amy. Have you had a good time on Clockwise? Yeah. A bit messier than when you came. Amy, have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. Good. Well, you're going to go and get cleaned up now so you can wear and take home with you your brilliant, stylish Clockwise watches. <laughs> Nice gelled hairstyle there for Russell, fresh from being gunsed. And well done to both teams for getting through to round five, the race to the face, where you can choose to either move your clock weight up two spaces and get ten points for your score, or move your opponent's weight down one space and deduct five points from their score. Tactical play here. Fingers on your buzzers, and off we go. Which planet is named after the Roman god of war? Oranges. Mars. Mars is correct. Well done. You're off the mark with ten points. Which author wrote the Narnia Chronicles? Oranges. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis. Well done. You're up another two. Ten points on the score. What colours are the Jolly Roger flag? And that's the oranges. Black and white. Black and white's absolutely correct. You're up another two. Another ten points. On TV, what type of animal was Mr. Ed? Oranges. A horse. A horse is absolutely correct. Flying up the clock here. Which writer created Miss Marple? Oranges. Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie is absolutely correct. You've topped the clock with 190 yeah. points. Yeah. Which means we suddenly have to say goodbye to the pink team, Russell and Linda, and Russell with his slick back hairdo. Have you had a good time on Clockwise? Yeah. You've been brilliant contestants, you really have. And don't forget, you take home with you your brilliant, stylish Clockwise watches and T-shirts. <laughs> Ian and Jane, this is where your race against time begins. You'll have to 60 seconds to get all the answers right and get from one end of the tunnel to the other. Each right answer gets you one panel lit, and for each quarter you get through, you get to win one of these great prizes. For the green quarter, take in the sights and sounds of this record and book collection. For the blue quarter, beware these frustrating board games. For the yellow quarter, Charge the senses with this rechargeable personal stereo. And for the top of the clock top prize, keep your music on the move with this portable sound system. Oh, and I should just tell you that along the way there'll be some time penalties and you'll never know when or how they're going to strike. So beware. Good luck. Start the clock. Americans call it gasoline. What do we call it? Petrol. Petrol's correct. Who hosts every second counts? Paul Daniels. Paul Daniels is correct. Which organisation introduced Bob a job week? The Cubs. It's the Boy Scouts Unlucky. Who is the comic partner of Bud Abbott? No idea. It was Lucas Dello. We'll go on. Which sport is played by Jimmy White and Stephen Hendry? Snooker. Snooker's correct. Well done. In which London square does Nelson's column stand? Albert. It's Trafalgar Square. You've got guns there. Which England goalkeeper has won a record 125... Shelton. Peter Shelton, well done. In which country is Lincoln? It's Lincolnshire. Let's go on. Which creature raised a hare and won? Which creature? Uh, Tortoise. Tortoise, correct. Well done. Well done. In which country is the Taj Mahal? Egypt. It's India. Unlucky. Who's the lead singer of the Rolling Stones? It's Mick Jagger. Who led a gang of outlaws called the Merry Men? Robin Hood. Robin Hood's correct. Well done. Time's up. Yes. Yeah. What a mess. What was it like? Good? Well, hopefully it was all worth it because you won the records, the books and the board games. Well done. Yeah. And we'll see you same time, same place, next Saturday. Till then, stay clockwise. See ya. Good morning.